Hi. Now, I believe in helping others and I believe in uh, loving people and giving the best out of you to people, to others. At the same time, it's very important to start with oneself. You can never have a balanced uh, society if you don't start with yourself. You can't go and, and give advices to others or uh, show them the way. You know, when I, before I uh, enroll into any course, uh, I read about uh, the constructor and I see if he is practicing what he's talking about, then I can believe him and I can enroll into the course. You cannot deny this. You cannot deny oneself. I can't go and, and you cannot go and give advices to others and there's something wrong with you. You know, when you take care of yourself, uh, you will get distracted from watching others. It's not nice to, to you know, to look at people in a criticizing way or judging them or even to give them advices because some people they would say don't come to me and tell me what to do you know they they people feel that they know better so to start with oneself is the key to have a balanced society and to do that is um, by understanding the meaning of the karma you know if you understand this concept you won't need someone to watch over you you won't need someone to lead you to the right way you won't need anything now i'm not talking about religion and i'm talking i'm not talking about anything else i'm talking about a concept a law in life which is the karma when you think that whatever you do you will get then you will watch what you're doing. You won't be able to hurt other people because you know that you will get hurt. You won't lie because someone will come and lie at you, your husband, your brother, whoever. When uh, you take something which is not yours, someone will come and take something which is not theirs. So it's, it's a karma. When you keep this in mind, I don't think that you'll be able to do anything wrong. Now, what's wrong to you is different than what is wrong to me, but I'm talking about in general. The basics uh, is to be kind and to think that when you're kind to others, kindness will come to you from others. I know that we all know this, but I'm talking about the concept of starting with oneself is to think about the karma and to think before you do anything because knowing that whatever you do, it will get back to you. Then you will have definitely a second thought about whatever you're gonna do. I think it's really lovely to invest in oneself. Like if I know that uh, this thing within me, within my personality needs some, um, uh, some work to do, to adjust it to the level that I want it to be, then why not working on it and invest in myself? If I need information, there is Google, there are people around me that they can give me information, whoever their specialties are. Um, I mean, there are lots of sources uh, which are available for us to get information from. So imagine someone who lies if they will work on themselves and they will stop lying or someone who has hate, they will stop doing this within their hearts and, and because it's harming oneself, you know, who hates people, hate himself or herself. So it's not doing you any good. You will be having more hatred around you. So imagine if someone is working on themselves about, for example, revenge, for example. Uh, or they're working on themselves about hate and instead to put love. When you think that it's a karma, that what you're doing is what you're getting, I think you will give it another thought. You will think about it differently. It's because you want your life to be a good life, a better life, 
That's why you're doing this. You're giving yourself the chance to be open to the good because knowing this law is an amazing thing of uh, adjusting a person's life. And imagine if I will be starting with myself, it's contagious, you know, happiness or kindness or the good thing is contagious. The people around you, they will get it and they will be coming to you. Also the people who are doing the good like you and the people next to them, they will be also the same and it will be a balanced society. I think if each and every one of us really convinced about this law, the karma law, I think they will, they will make a change. There will be some changes because nobody wants to hurt himself or herself. Uh, there are people doing this, but unconsciously. But when you know that when you get revenge, that you will get the same, I don't think that you will be doing it. It has been proven when you get revenge, someone will uh, come and get revenge. Also, you will be hurt. So if someone hurts you, just, just leave them and live and let live. They will get their karma. Why to get involved? I remember, uh, well, she used to be a friend of mine. Uh, she went through uh, circumstances with her life and she was actually getting a divorce and she has a kid and she didn't know where to go. So uh, she asked me if she can stay with me for some time until she manages her things. And of course, I invited her in and she stayed with me for a whole month. During this period, I had to travel with my uh, parents to for vacation, like two weeks period. It was two or three weeks period, I guess. Two weeks, I think. Anyways, after I came back, she was fine. She greeted me and... Uh, I didn't feel anything after she, well, she told me that she wanted to leave and uh, she managed everything and she left. But I started to discover uh, that there are things which they're not there anymore, <laughs> like a ring, a necklace, a whole set, <laughs> some dresses. I mean, there must have been something wrong. So I discovered, to make the story short, I discovered that she was the one who stole. Imagine, I was like, for three days, I couldn't speak from the shock. <laughs> and uh, I had to talk to her and she confessed. And she said that she had this since she, since she was little and she is suffering from psychological problems, she was raised up this way. She's doing the same with her kids. She's raising, uh, raising her up uh, in the same way. Her kid actually, I discovered that she stole some things from my daughter. It, to me, it was, what is this? I mean, it's, it's something really strange. And uh, she said that she regrets that, but the problem is that she sent, you know, I, I, I needed my things back. My things back so uh she told me that she sent them already to uh to her country and she cannot bring them back and uh, there's nothing that she can do about it i told her uh, now i could have called the police but i didn't want to do a mess she's an only woman with a kid okay even if you want to teach her a lesson but i don't think that this is the right way uh, it, uh, it will affect me, it will affect my kids also. To see all these scenes, you know, it will be a mess in my house. So uh, I told her, well, for me, I was concerned about her actually. It hurt me badly. It burned my heart to, uh, you know, these are my things and to steal them, it's really horrible. At the same time, I gave it another thought and I, said to myself that they're expired anyway. I used them. There were some furs, jacket furs and jewelries and dresses, expensive ones. 
at the same time I told myself that they're expired anyway and I used them for a long time and I mean money and clothes and all these things they come and go so and by calling the police or doing anything I mean about it nothing will change my things are not there with her so what's the use is to get revenge I'm not that type and I don't think getting revenge will get me anything back. So uh, my concern was, was was her and because because I know that I studied this. I know it's a karma. She will get hurt one day, definitely. So I told her to give me money to replace the things that she took from me, that she stole from me. And she said, okay, and she did not pay me money. So uh, after three years uh, she called me and she said that she was looking for me she was looking for me imagine she was crying and she was begging me to forgive her because she had two kids twins one of them unfortunately is uh, handicapped there's something wrong with his brain and there is no cure for him she tried a lot uh, she went to doctors so, and she thought that because of what she stole from me, and I told her, yeah, it's correct. Uh, this is what happens when you take dirty money. Uh, when you take uh, things which they don't belong to you, this is what happens. You get hurt, and I told you that from the beginning. And uh, I, she said, what's your advice? I said, well, the only thing is to do the good, to give money to the poor. This is the only thing you can do. And you pray but from my side you've been forgiven long time ago and uh, I did that not because of her and not because I'm a good person I did that because I know who hates hate themselves uh, it will get back to me it will fire back at me so hating someone or trying to get a revenge won't do me good that was the reason for me to forgive it was hard, it wasn't an easy thing to do. But, you know, uh, I worked on myself. and So, if each one of us know about this karma, I think you will, you, will, you will think a thousand times before hurting others or doing the bad, whatever bad means to you. In my uh, course, uh, what I'm giving you is not to heal others, is to heal yourself. Because I know this is the start of a balanced uh, society, is to start with yourself and to invest in yourself. And uh, I'm saying in the course that don't even think about healing others because you need to start with yourself and the course is for beginners. So you need to start with yourself in anything you do. I, I don't imagine that someone can give kindness and they don't know what kindness is. I know uh, kids that I know kids they don't know what, what the meaning of love is because they saw their parents hating each other and they been raised up in a way that they don't know what love is. How can they give love? They don't know what is it. So uh, to start with oneself is to understand this karma law. It is proven it has been proven and it's a law um, uh, to give yourself you know sacrifice sacrifice it means that there is lack to sacrifice is to give out of lack this is sacrifice I don't have it so I'm giving it to you it, it exists but I'm not going to give it to myself. I'm going to give it to you. What energy do you think it will be in that thing that you're giving when you're giving it out of lack? I mean, someone who sacrifices, I think they don't know that there is abundance in the world, in the universe, and there is a lot. And it's there is more than enough for everyone. There is water, there is money, there is food, who thinks of sacrificing I don't think it's something healthy because the person that you're sacrificing for they will feel it and they will be suffocated with your sacrifice 
and also you will be suffocated with the sacrifice you're doing. When I interpret it like it's out of love and out of joy, I'm giving you kindness. It's not out of sacrificing or, or lack. It will be a whole different story. So, uh, do you think we can do a better society? A balanced society, lovely society? I think we can. And the key is to start with oneself and to think about karma. Karma is amazing. I respect it. <laughs> Bye.